the scene here is set by all the scrummaging sessions that they went through, the hours that myself, Keith Wood and Tim Rodber, in fact, all the scrum halves, hookers and number eights, practiced against the scrum machine of you know, getting ready, tap, hooker tapping, ball on the foot, bang, straight into uh, the number eight's feet and we play because we knew we were going to be under pressure in the scrums and so getting that channel one ball and being able to get the ball up and away before the referee could give a penalty was just so crucial. So we practiced it ad nauseum. And however many minutes this is into the game, I don't know, 60-odd minutes or something, um, the ball had just been going to Rodders' feet and he'd been picking it up and just getting smashed and smashed and smashed. But it was like he would sort of push the ball back and we'd be into our phases so it was job done anyway i remember going to this scrum and rodders just looking at me and as if don't you dare think that i'm gonna pick this ball up again and get smashed by teichman and venter and all those boys not having it and he looked at me and said solo and solo was this call basically the call that we practice number eight pick, uh, uh, number eight puts on his right foot and the sc scrum half has a bit of a dabble. I don't think Rodders realised what he was doing for me in, in the big scale of things, but um, it just happens in such a blink to get around the outside and Yian Evans coming on this amazing switch. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. I mean, I know people remember it and it is an amazing... I mean, incredible feeling, and even just to watch it now is just mind-numbing that you, that, that in such a big game you could create something so simple. But Yian Evans coming on that switch, you know, legend of the game and of, of Lions, scored some brilliant tries for the Lions, attracted so much attention <clears throat> um, that they all forgot about me. But, you know, I, I have to mention... You got to, you have to mention Rob Howley in all of this because you know he was the best scrum half on the trip. All the South Africans had done all the research on him. You know the, there is no way Rob would have got away with that because he was such a threat. They would have absolutely piled into him and smashed him into next week because they were so worried of him. And yet, you know, then this little upstart of an English scrum half who probably they didn't realise would have the audacity to do it. I mean, it is ridiculous, really.